All right, all right, ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the empire, how you doing today? I hope you're doing all right, and you're not cold, hungry, or diseased. <laughs> We're gonna uh, actually, before we go speak to Constantine, I talked to Afra last uh, time. And she discussed interest in wanting to see something about the natives. So we're going to go see what she wants. Because, you know, I like them cultural exchanges. You got to have fun. And why is it not appearing on the map? Wait. Yeah, it's... I already talked to her. Didn't I? Oh, do I have to do it again? To confirm that I'm going to help... Afra! Desade. I would like to go to Kurganau, the place of ritual, to study the carvings and offerings there. Yeah, sure. But they call it a dangerous place, and I cannot go alone. Will you accompany me? Yeah. Very well. Understanding these transformations will surely be useful. Thank you, Desade. I knew I could count on you. Let's go. Awesome. Now it's trackable. Um, it doesn't really tell me where I need to go, so let's hope that this is a good one. Okay, so how close are we? Uh, close enough, I guess. A hop, skip, and a jump. There's no direct way to it, and it's still gonna need some traveling to do. Hello, bandit. I'm here to take your life. Was he the only one? No, he was not. Come here. Jesus, Afro. Everything does not need to be settled with a grenade. Oh god damn it, they're going after the animals. Give them a little magic artillery. Ow! Bitch! All right, I think we're good. Are we done playing with the animals? Thank you. <laughs> All right. Yes, yes, give me your corpse treasure. All right, I think if I remember right, yeah, we just keep moving forward, but I want, I, I kind of want to see what's up here since we're out and about. Okay, so it is around here. Wait, who's, where, oh, around the corner. go who's left oh, they've done some slaughter there we go where's afro all right ladies What is this up here? Is that a camp? No. Oh, it's a, um... It's a point. It's a skill point thing. Like a standing stone. I don't really know what they're called.
There we go. We're good. This will be very useful. Oh, come on. There we go. Uh, let's turn on the light. And we're going to keep moving. That's com sun's coming up, so we can turn that off. Are you a bandit or a soldier? You're a soldier, okay. I was about ready to stab you. Right, so we're going farther north. Straight north, eight hours. All right, come on. Got to keep moving. What's the consensus? Does cracking your knuckles actually make carpal tunnel worse? I have no clue. Oh no, Let, let's move. Nope, nope, none of that, none of that. I hope I'm not too low level for this area. Oh shit. Okay, no, I'm I'm pretty level. This is not working. Got to got to switch to magic. Ow, you bitch. You were lucky. Without our presence here. Yes. Blessed be the earth that has brought you to us at this time. Oi. You won. I was touched. I am hurt. Oh no. Moria. These creatures are venomous. If their venom has come into contact with her blood, this young woman does not have long. And we are too far from the village to seek help. How are we going to save her? I know a potion that will erase the effects of the venom. I have a vial of it in my bag. Hold on. Thank you. Truly the best winds have brought you to us. Here, drink this. Don't worry. It'll heal you. You can trust her. She knows what she's doing. Marian, what do you feel? Oi. Oi feel the pain leaving me. She is saved. You have great wisdom. May the trees always bear fruits on your journey. You have saved Morian. It was nothing. I'm glad I could help you. You are different from other Renaixi. You know the potions. But what were you looking for here? We came to study this place, the carvings in particular. This is one of our places of ritual. A place of connection. What do you hope to learn from our carvings? I... I seek to understand the mechanisms of your transformations. I think these carvings could help with this. You seek the secrets of the Donegada. You should speak with Armal. Yes, his name is Duncas. He is also our Donegad, and his wisdom is boundless. Here is someone who should be able to answer all your questions, Afra. Let us go, then. We will have time to discuss on the way. 
I have so many questions about this place, about the rituals that take place here. Per tier to mad, Donkas. These Renaiks have saved my life. What happened? We were meditating at the sacred circle in Kerganau, and we were attacked. Morian was poisoned, and they gave her a potion. Really? We are not yet used to the Renaikse doing something without expecting something in return. You should go and meditate now. I have to talk to them. They are different from the others. Oh, I'm sure of it. I hear your gratitude, Morian. It honors you. Now go. Leave us. My name is Desarde. I'm the legate of the merchant congregation. And I am Dunkas, the Marl of the Yigidor, and also his Donei God. Your face markings designate you as one of ours, yet you are a Lugade Blau. A clan that rarely shows generosity, yet you saved Morian. I thank you for this. I want a day's work. We couldn't let her die without doing anything. This feeling brings you honor. But what were you doing near our sacred circle in Kerganau? It was me who led my friends there. I was hoping to study the circle to better understand your culture. Loyans always want the same thing. They covet our secrets to better steal our land, to better hurt our children. Calm now. Perhaps this loyaness is different from the others. Maybe we were wrong about them too. I'm not trying to conquer your island, let alone hurt anyone. I just want to know. A noble quest that could perhaps bring peace, but to which I cannot answer alone. I cannot reveal such secrets without seeking advice from the Oda Donegada. But in order to thank you for saving one of our daughters, stay with us tonight. Eat and celebrate life. Maybe by sharing this joyous moment, you will learn something. We accept your invitation. Isn't that right, Dasade? Of course. Thank you for welcoming us, Dunkus. All right, let's party with the natives. Should be fun. Uh, go back to Morin and Yowen. Oh, they're over here. They haven't actually left. Hold on. Oh, never mind. I'm sorry. You look disappointed. I did not expect your Denegad to reveal all its secrets to us, but I would have loved to learn more. Perhaps you should be patient. It takes years to understand the mysteries of the Donegada, and since you are staying with us tonight, it will be an opportunity to continue learning. That's what I hope. Thank you for welcoming us tonight. We had a good time. Yes. It was very... enlightening. We are glad that you stayed with us. We too have learned from you. Your face brings with thoughts, Afra. Is something wrong? It's nothing. Probably just tiredness. We should all rest. It has been a long day. May your dreams be wonderful. Good night. May the moon watch over your dreams. Is something wrong? That was Dunkus sweet. wasn't here tonight, yet he's the one who invited us to stay. I also saw one of the elders sneaking out of the village. You think they're hiding something from us? I don't know. But since they don't want to share their knowledge with us, let's try to follow them. I don't like it one bit, Afra. If the elders and Dunkas are gone, then we have no right to follow them. In that case, why don't you explain where the transformation comes from? It's... It's not something that can be explained that easily. You have to believe to understand. You are not capable. I see. So we will discreetly follow these people, since this is the price of knowing. Oh, wait, why did I lose reputation with Siora? I didn't do anything. So in other words, I shouldn't have brought her. Here they are. Let's try not to be detected. Yeah, that will certainly result in our death. Alright. Here's hoping we don't lose them. I don't 
I know it's possible, but I don't think we'll be able to do that. Stop to feed the beasts. Hold on. Why don't the creatures attack them? I don't know. Are they guarding this place? If they're trained to guard it, this must be a very important place. Maybe if we, uh... Because I thought I saw a path that went up that hill. I need a bit of ah, practice. damn it. Alright, I can't do that one. But if I had the agility, I could. Jump down. Stick to the shadows, stick to the shadows, stick to the shadows and the bushes. All right, up here. Don't want to go sprinting because I don't want to accidentally engage anyone in combat. Shh. I hear something. We found them. Let's be as discreet as possible. Uh, we can walk around, I think. They are below. Get down or we'll be seen. Oh, I'm down. Okay. Forgive us. We did not intend to interrupt you. Right, I think you can go down the hill over here. Sorry, Dunkus. Dunkus, my friend. Why are you here? We're sorry. We didn't mean to interrupt your conversation. We need answers. So we followed your elders. I never thought I would see you like this, hiding in the bushes, spying on your elders' daughter of Bladnit. I'm the one who brought her here. She didn't want to follow you, but she refused to tell me what I need to know. <sighs> well, since you absolutely want to learn, do as the apprentices do. Take a seat and be quiet. We are here to meditate. To hear the voice of the earth, because the wind has changed. Close to us, Arwichnis Diri. You were right. Yoan is ready. Morion's trial has made her more sensitive. She is his Minundanem, and he is hers. One cannot progress without the other. She will have to bring him to the Cave of Knowledge. This will be his last trial before creating the bond. May their path be gentle and shielded. As for me, I hear the call ever louder, Dunkas. And the day the call is loud enough, you will respond just like each of us. But it's not yet time for you to join in on Milfriken. So, Afra, are you satisfied with what you saw? It was informative, although it's not what I expected. Thank you, Dunkas. This meeting was strange. 
It almost seemed like they really heard voices in the wind. Maybe it's true. Some believe so strongly that they end up hearing or seeing what they hope for. Have you learned what you wanted to? What they said about these young people we helped out, about the fact they were ready to bind themselves. We have a unique opportunity of seeing a transformation with our very own eyes. But we can't follow them wherever they go. No, of course not. I must think on it. Come back and talk to me later. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm not 100% willing to just start following natives all over the place, Afra. We have other things to do. But, you know, I'll help you with the research as much as I can. Let's find a camp and uh, set up once again. Um, where is the nearest camp? Oh, well, here's the village, I guess. What is that, a side quest? That's a side quest, why not do it? And we'll see what, uh, we, we can get into. First, though, I'm going to level up once we get inside. Okay. Um, I get a talent. Could go intuition, crafting, Chance. Okay, success at some dialogues. When's the next one? 21 is when we get our next one. We're at 17. Okay. So let's do craftsmanship. Oh, wait. And then we got two points. Do I want to increase gun damage? Yeah, because they could be a powerhouse if you want them to be. <laughs> Plus, we're walking around with Afra, who's a uh, rifle toter. I'd like to speak to you. Yeah, go ahead. Bird tear to mud. Thank you for coming to talk to me. You are on Old Manawi, but you also look like a Lugayid Blau. Lugayid Blau? Is that what you call the congregation? Yes, those who have yellow eyes on their banner. They are coins, but to answer your question, yes, I am the legate of the congregation. Is legate the Renaixe word for on Olmanawi? No, it means that I am in charge of diplomatic relationships with the other nations. So I was right. You will be able to help us. Sure. Some of your clan are preventing us from accessing one of our sacred glades. Really? Why would they do that? Several seasons ago, some men from your clan came to ask us for wood for their houses. There were some old trees in this glade, so we let them do what they wanted. At first, everything was fine. But then they cut down too many trees. So we wanted to heal the place, plant some new trees, but they won't let us come close. Their bod irony, their warriors, are stopping us from doing so. I could investigate. Yes, please. You must tell them that they have to let us heal the glade. I mean, I can't possibly see why they won't let you. It's free, it's free forestry work. That's a valuable profession in this time. Or, you know, with this, uh, sort of the way as the world works this era. Forestry is always needed. So they're just being shitheads. Alright, so where, where are we turning on? Oh, hello. That's new. Didn't see that before. 
So let's see. Let's see if we can find it. Oh my god. Scared me half to death. Okay, got another point. Um, do I want to the question? That, that's the question, isn't it? I could do shadow burst. Yeah, I could save up for shadow burst. Let's do that. What are you do? What are you just standing there for? Scary ass NPC. Oh wow, further north, okay. Um, let's put these on, there she is. Oh, that's already equipped. Put these on her. And can I upgrade the, Let, let's, Let's just go full upgrading in a for a actually I need to buy materials I think, but let's just upgrade the shit out of our armor because you know we can now. Oh wait, is, no, it's an under ingredients. So let's grab. No, eh, yeah, why not? Let's also. Oh no. Uh, procure. And refined. And what about obsidian? Okay. I'm going to go bankrupt crafting things. Alright, so let's start with armor. Is that really the most reinforced force the Spalder can be? Oh, there we go. Twenty. So this gives us one twenty-six. But I I do like these. I really like them. And I am unsure as to why it can't be on both arms. Press plate. Okay, good for us. And thieves tools, lock picking and fury gen. All right, let's do, nope, uh, shit. Oh, wow. Huh. Could do that. I also like that, sort of. Alright, and now for boots. Easy. And Siora, since we got those new gloves for her. All right, good. And, oh, wait, what the fuck? And also her boots. Ooh. Let's go with the first one. There we go. That's better. I'll upgrade the uh, weapons and stuff a little bit later. Alright, so where are we going? Uh, so kind of 
looks just like up and around a bend. So maybe through here? I'm starting to see a clearing in the trees. Is there a camp up here at all? This might be one. So I want to be able to... Yep, thank you. And gather companions. Hey, hey, Kurt. Kurt, buddy. My, my man. Let's go. I need to upgrade his armor, too. Just give me a quick moment. There you go, buddy. That works best for him. Alright, uh, can we upgrade his gloves at all? Uh, there you go, that's what he needs. And your big old boots there, man. I'm out of materials already. That's lovely. Alright. Come on, Kurt. Excuse me. Calm down here. What's happening here, soldier? These islanders want to enter a plot of land that belongs to the congregation. They are denying us access to the glade. We must heal it. Otherwise, this land will die. I am sorry, but we cannot let you enter this area. But we only want to plant some new trees. Bring life back. These people are fanatics, Your Excellency. Several woodcutters died last night, and I'm willing to bet that these savages had a hand in it. You are killing the Earth, so it kills you in return. All of you are cursed. Shut it, you savage! Enough! I'm de Sade. I'm the legate of the merchant congregation on this island. I came to shed some light on this affair. You said that some woodcutters died. Aye, they fell sick and died a few hours later. Well, the camp doctor will be able to tell you more about it. You'll find him in the barracks right here. Thank you, soldier. I'll go see her. Okay. Please, Your Excellency, you may come in. Actually, Do not force us to use our Afra has some medical expertise. So let's grab her. She might be able to help. Sorry, Kurt, but. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I didn't mean Hello. to do that. I must leave you. Compose. Remove. Add. Come here. I require your expertise. Hello, Doctor. I'm the legate of the congregation. I was told about the disputes caused by this camp, and a soldier told me that several woodcutters died recently. Yes. They got sick yesterday afternoon, and a few hours later they were dead. I couldn't do anything except watch them writhing in pain. None of my remedies worked. If seeing corpses doesn't bother you, you can come and see the bodies. They're here. I hope that whatever killed them is not contagious. Alright, let's take a look. These poor woodcutters look like they've suffered. This one has a swollen tongue. Blood at the corners of the mouth. Poisoning, maybe? There are some peculiar red patches on the bodies. His eyes are bloodshot. This man choked to death. A strong smell of ammonia. 
The entrails must have been perforated. The appearance of these bodies and the smell emanating from their mouths leaves me in no doubt. They were poisoned. That this doctor could have believed that this was simply an illness is beyond me. I can't yeah. see anything else of interest. Okay, they're just kind of repeating dialogue over there. So, hey, Doc. So, what do you think? They clearly poisoned. Do you recognize their disease? They didn't die of disease. They were poisoned. There's no doubt about it. You're probably right. But I've heard these savages talking so much about curses. So I thought it must be a mysterious disease, rather than seeing what was before my eyes. But how could these three men be poisoned? Uh, do you recognize it? I'm not sure. Do their symptoms not point to anything? No. I've never seen such a deadly poison with these symptoms. Have you noticed anyone unusual here? Unusual? No. You don't seem completely sure of yourself. Nobody could have just slipped in. No, I assure you. The last ones to pass by here were the hunters who delivered us game two days ago. Mm -hmm. Hunters? Natives who bring us game regularly in exchange for knickknacks. But they've been restocking us for months. I struggle to believe that they're involved. Well, let's see what they have to say. Where can I find them? They usually hunt on the edge of the wood that leads to this camp. All right, well, let's go question them. Where, where exactly are we going? Uh, oh, back towards the way we came. I'm surprised we didn't pass them. Yeah, I will take uh I will take your meat and leather. <coughs> so they're supposed to be around here. Maybe set up camp back that way. I don't see anyone. What the hell is attack? What? Oh, Jesus! Okay. Atoy, this is our prey. How can we earn our reward if you hunt our prey? We only defended ourselves. These beasts attacked us. But take them. We did not intend to eat them. Thank you. But what are you doing here, Renaixe, if you're not here to hunt? We were looking for you. Us? What do you want from us? Three Just a few woodcutters questions. were poisoned yesterday after eating what you brought them. Poison? I swear we are not responsible for this. Listen, all the clues lead to you, but it may simply have been an accident. How about you tell me exactly what happened? It wasn't really an accident, but we did not want to kill them either. Then tell me how it happened. We did not decide to do this. We were trading beautiful things with the camp. But the Elder said that we would be traitors to our clan if we let the woodcutters cut down all the trees. Which Elder? One of the old men from Vigigidor, our village. He is very angry because we cannot heal the glade. He gave us the meat of an Andrig killed by a venomous Dosentats. Its flesh is perfectly edible when prepared with certain berries, but without them, eating it would be lethal. And since the Renaixe invaded our forest, these berries are nowhere to be found. He wanted it to be a lesson for them, so that they may understand that their destruction brings death. I will not hold you responsible, but from now on you will no longer bring meat to this camp. You were the instruments of a hateful old man's vengeance. And I'm under the impression that there will be even more deaths if I do not get to the root of this problem. 
Okay. So Elder thought it best to take vengeance into his own hands. I understand his anger, but Dunkus would not approve of this. He would say that bloodshed only leads to more bloodshed. No, I agree. Be wrong. This whole thing could turn into an open war. We cannot let that happen. Sir de Cossignon will be able to give some advice on how to solve this property conflict without violence. All right, well, we'll ask him. Like, what the hell? Is this a camp? What is this? Ah, good. We can just straight up fast travel. Looks like we're going to the palace after all. Oh, wait. Afra wants to talk. All right, we'll talk to her in a bit. All right, good. Out we go. All right, he's at upstairs. So we'll take the back way. We had to go the okay. It's blocked. Yeah. I thought there was an extra way to get around, but I guess not. I thought like a moron. It it's like that for some of the palaces, just not all of them. I don't think we'll be forced into a conversation with uh, Constantine, so we'll just walk right on past him, because I'm not ready for that just yet. Oh my god, stuck on the stairs. Is this his office, or...? Well, this is interesting. My lord! Sir de Corsillon. The Sade, my young student. What can I do for you? I've come to find you because I received a complaint from the natives of the village of Vigigador. They want to be able to access a clearing exploited by our woodcutters in order to heal it. To reforest it, I assume. But our men there say that it belongs to them and are refusing to let the natives enter it. The site was supposedly ceded to them several months ago. But tensions are running high, and some men have lost their lives. If we don't intervene, we're heading for a real confrontation. It is very regrettable, and I approve of your desire to appease this conflict. According to what you have told me, if ever there was a contract, it must have been signed under our former governor. You should go to the archives and verify this. Then go and talk to Lady Laureen de Morange. And of course, I'll be delighted to help you once things have been clarified. Thank you, Professor. Once more, you've been of great help. Can your old professor still prove himself useful? No, that was it. Running around for bureaucracy's sake. Looking forward to seeing you again, Sir de Corsillon. All right, let's go, uh... Let's go see about the archives. Oh my god, go through the door. <laughs> <coughs> oh, oh. Oh god, that has been brewing throughout my nose for the past, like, three minutes. And I hate that shit so much. The archives are down in the basement. So 
so it's around this corner and in the back in the boondocks. Alright, talk to Lady Mirage. Oh my god. Let's just yeet myself out of the palace. Here, right? Right there. My lady, I must speak with ye. Good day, my lady. Happy to see you again in such fine health. How can I be of service? I have a question for you about a contract. I need you to enlighten me about the property deed of a glade near the Gigador. The natives want to access this place, which according to them is sacred and which they would like to heal. But some of our men there are using this deed to deny them access to the area. Tensions are running high and some people have died. Yes, there was a time when we enacted a lot of contracts. Do you have the document with you? Yes, here it is. Hmm. This session agreement is only signed with a cross on native side. Well, writing is foreign to them. As is the notion of land ownership. For them, the earth only belongs to itself. If they did not possess these lands, how did they cede them? Well, I doubt they knew what this agreement represented, to be honest. In that case, why make them sign it? When we arrived on the island, we had to ensure our access to certain commodities. We also had to make sure that we had legal ownership of the lands we were occupying. The natives dreamed of possessing some baubles that they didn't know how to craft. It was easy to make them sign agreements that they didn't understand by giving them some. I was a stranger to their philosophy then. I only thought about my city, and I regret it. I'm sure we can fix this mistake. I hope so, Your Excellency. Come, let's find Sir de Corsilion. Can I help you with any other matter? Nope, let's go back to My him. lady, I have to go. Goodbye. I'm glad you very much regret it. Sir de Corsilion, it's always a pleasure. Madame. I expect you've come to see me about this regrettable problem concerning a clearing, which my student told me about. Indeed, and I think I may have a solution that will allow us to solve this conflict peacefully. Hmm, I'm listening. I must admit that I established this at a time when the culture and the mentality of the natives was foreign to me. The clan of this village was rather open to our presence. They welcomed us with benevolence. For this reason, I think we should allow them access to these lands. In doing so, we would appease the tensions, and we would also retain ownership of the wood. We would even benefit from such an agreement if the natives reforest this area. Then we could exploit it for a longer period of time. I find this decision perfectly viable, and I approve. But several men were killed and their comrades will seek vengeance if the personal persons responsible do not pay for their crimes. I am convinced that Dunkus, the chief of this clan, never approved such an action. I understand, but I will only write a decree allowing people to go to this clearing, provided the murderer is delivered to us. Thank you, Master. I will inform Dunkus of your decision. All right, run around a little bit more. Gotta run errands. I wish there was a system where I could just send one of them a letter. <laughs> I mean, I'm assuming Dunkus can't read since writing is sort of a foreign concept to the natives, but you know, sending one back here works. <laughs> Fast traveling at least two more times. All right, where is Dunkus? Is here it is. Here is his home, Dunkus, my friend. I have a request of you.
Oh, nope, put that away. Put that away. What brings you here on Omanawi? At this old man's request, I investigated the conflict that opposes you and my nation regarding the clearing. You will now be able to access it freely to accomplish your rituals or heal the area. And the congregation will keep exploiting the forest. However, there is one condition to this new agreement. You must deliver this man to us, because he is responsible for the deaths of several woodcutters. These men died because of their own foolishness. No one else is responsible for their deaths. <laughs> if they hadn't cut all the ochre berry trees, they would have survived. What does that mean? What are the two of you talking about? Three woodcutters died eating the meat of an Andrik after it was killed by a venomous Dawson Tats. It's nothing but a terrible coincidence. And if they had eaten the ochre berries... We know that you're responsible for all this. The hunters told me everything. How could you do this? You acted more foolishly than an irascible adolescent. By killing these men, you have brought upon us their wrath. And it is only natural that they should ask for justice. Dunkus, I beg you. I only wanted the Renoixe to understand the value of the trees they were cutting. Bloodshed only leads to more bloodshed. And you know that. I would never have thought you capable of doing something so foolish. If you want to stop the woodcutters taking vengeance into their own hands, you must deliver this man to us. I understand. But I have one condition before we make this agreement. If the Lugayer Blau fooled us in the past, it is their turn to prove their good faith. What do you want from us? There is a mine in the forest that the congregation has long operated with help from my people. But digging into the mountain has risked it collapsing. We reinforced the earth with wood. We worked with the Lugade Blau to save the mountain and the men. We agreed to stop digging and sealed the entrance with a boulder. But some Renaigse came back, and I think they started digging again. And some of my people started going missing. Perhaps because they had seen them break their promise. If the mountain collapses and it is your clan's fault, thousands of lives will be lost. And you want me to intervene? You have to stop them. Remind them of their promise. This is the price of my trust. If you do, we punish the person responsible for the death of the woodcutters, and all our quarrels will be gone. I'll go to this mine and see what's going on. Is there anything else? Ah, uh, no. I must leave. Goodbye, Dunkus. Kwa Awalum say. Great. Okay. So, we got, got more things we need to do. More errands to try to complete. One quest for one quest. Blood for blood. We, I don't even know where we need to go, really. Um around there but if we if we flash travel from here oh my god oh so it's just like a little deeper into the okay I know we have the ability to pass. I don't think we need Afra for this anymore, so let's actually... I'm just all over the place, aren't I? Let's actually grab Kurt again. Just in case we gotta cut somebody in half. Where is he? So, deeper in. Right, we're 
getting close. What is this logging? But where are up oh, this way? Is that a camp over there? Yes. Good. Getting all the camps is a side quest in and of itself, so that's just great. It's great. We get to level up and gain XP. You there. Sorry, this is private property. I cannot allow you to enter. Actually, no one should be able to enter. This mine is doomed. It's terribly dangerous. I wouldn't know. Our employer, Mr. Mayard, is the owner. He's got all the deeds required. Listen, you should go to the authorities. They can confirm all the paperwork. I definitely will. Oh, great. So who do we talk to? Um... Uh, Afra's quest, Price of Blood. Go to the... Huh. So do we go back to Serene? Sorry, this is private property. Those guys must have no respect for the lives of their men to start mining again. These Renegs they must not have taken us seriously. We should take a closer look. Okay, spy on the mine activity. Yes, I'm quite sure they will not see us come over here. We should take the path that overlooks the outer wall. We should be able to see inside from there. They broke the stone and started digging under the mountain again. Oh, wow. They use captives from the villages to dig their mine. They've made them into slaves. We must talk to Sir de Cossillon. I hope our nation is not involved in this business. I mean, it seems like it if the congregation owns this land and he's using it. Maybe not knowingly, but we're involved. Let's go talk. I mean, the good part about doing so many quests in a row is that we might actually uh, level up again pretty quickly. This Sade, my young student, what can I do for you? Um, there you go. I've come to ask you about a mine near Vigigador. It was closed for a long time for security reasons, but someone has started exploiting it again. Hmm. I seem to recall that a concession in this area was sold to a master Mayard. However, I do not recall the details of the contract. It was established by the previous government. He is a rich merchant from Serene, who arrived on the island only a short while before we did. People say that he is unscrupulous. Unscrupulous? That's an understatement. This man had some natives captured and he's using them as slaves to work in this mine. What? Does this old brigand really think that he is above the law? We cannot tolerate such methods, but we must determine the best way to attack him. You should start by finding the deed to his property in the archives. Don't worry. We are not let this man's behavior go unpunished. All right. Can your old professor still prove himself useful? 
Looking forward to seeing you again, Sir de Corsignon. More hunting in the archives. Let's see if we can find this and uh, hopefully not have any more steps to taking him down other than an attack. can't decipher the glyphs of your own people's document. I get lost in all the legal jargon, but they have Lady Morange's seal on them. We should find her to understand exactly what they say. Figured we were going that route. Let's go find her. Here's hoping she's sitting pretty at home. It's almost as if I didn't even leave. Lady Morange? Good day, my lady. Happy to see you again in such fine health. How can I be of service? Can you examine this thing for me? I need your advice once more. This time it's about the property deeds of a plot of land and of a mine acquired by a certain Maillard. Here are the deeds. I must admit that I understand very little of what's written, but your seal is on it. Hmm, do not worry. This type of document is always difficult to decipher for the uninitiated. However, they are very clear. Master Maillard is the owner of a plot of land located near Vigigador. He can exploit the forest and plant anything he wants there, but it says here that he does not have the right to exploit the mine. It's even repeated in this other paragraph. Any attempt at mining on this land is forbidden. And yet, the mine located on this plot of land has been reopened and is being exploited as we speak. According to these documents, the mine has been closed for security reasons. This man's behavior is reckless. You should go see him. He's presently in New Serene. He usually spends time at the port when he comes. He has some warehouses there. Okay, well, let's, uh... See if we can talk. I don't think we're going to talk any sense into him, obviously. I mean, look what he's doing. He knows why the mine is closed. Reminds me of that coal executive who, uh, basically just let a, a mine collapse. I, I, I'm, I think his name is Don Blankenship. And that was in the past, like, four years, I think. You there! You're breaking the law! Master Maillard. Who's asking? De Sardé. I am the legate of the congregation. Well, I'm flattered. What brings you here, Your Excellency? I'm here to talk to you about the mine you have near Vigigador. Are you aware that you have no right to operate it? Nor are you allowed to employ slaves there. But what are you talking about? Surely this is a misunderstanding. Listen, I'm sure there is a way for us to get along. I'm an honest merchant. I've always paid all taxes and the small bonuses needed. Please tell your cousin that I would be happy to send him the gift of his choice. Now, Your Excellency, if you will allow me, I have to get back to my activities. Yeah, you're not gonna bribe me. you don't understand, Master. It's not a money problem. That mine is dangerous. And you endanger the congregation on this island by behaving this way with the natives. Come on, don't be so serious, young woman. I'm sure it's nothing that a small bonus can't fix. Goodbye, madam. Best wishes to your cousin. Yeah, what the fu- <laughs> He's like, you're not gonna bribe- I'm not gonna take your bribe. And he's just like, nah, here's a bribe. Move out of the way. Bye, <laughs> and then disappears. I 
mean, there's no new agreement to be reached. We knew that he wasn't gonna really listen to sense because he opened the mine and is using slaves. But, uh, we can always just get an attack group and flush them out of there. Sir, we must converse. Sir de Corsillon. The sad day, my young student. What can I do for you? Uh, oh, there's the mine. I verified the contract with Lady Morange. The exploitation of the mine is illegal, as we expected, without even taking into account what he's doing to the natives. I then went to meet Master Maillard. So, what did he have to say in his defense? He turned a deaf ear and tried to bribe me. Twice. Oh, some of these merchants are so rich that they forget basic decency. But it's high time we reminded him of who is in charge of the congregation on this island. Here, this is an eviction notice which dispossesses him of all his land for breaching his contract. For his crimes against the natives, he's banished from this island. Oof. I will make him aware of this decision, but you should go to the mine immediately. The prisoners must be freed as soon as possible, and the mine closed once more. I'll take care of it. Can your old professor still prove himself useful? No. Uh, thank you. Looking forward to seeing you again, Sir de Corsillon. All right, let's go evict this man. <laughs> Cast him into the sea. All right, companions, move out, <laughs> please. We got a man to yeet into the ocean. Daylight cometh. So, to the abandoned mine. Okay, you there, sir. Out. Sorry, this is private property. I cannot allow you to enter. I don't need your authorization. I have here an eviction notice signed by the governor's ministers. The former owner, Mr. Maillard, has lost his rights due to a breach of contract. Look, ultimately, we are not the ones who decide. We only obey the boss's orders. In that case, where can I find him to notify him of his loss? You'll find him around here somewhere, Your Excellency. Excellent. Thank you. Do I have to kill him? It seems like I might have to are kill him. For trouble? You'd... Master Maillard, I'm so glad to find you here. Here is a document from Sir de Corsillon on behalf of my cousin. Considering the fact that you have not respected the terms of your contract of ownership, you are hereby expelled. The methods you used against the islanders has also ensured your banishment from Tear D. Impossible. By what right? Guards, this woman threatens me. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Yeah, they're uh, not being loyal to their country that they serve. And they all deserve death. Oh, shit. I wouldn't cry over them. Come now, let's go free my brothers. 
and we can tell Dunkers everything. Yep. Just after I loot all of them. <laughs> That's what you gotta do. You gotta murder bad guys to make money. Are there people in here? I can't open the door. Is there not a key? What? Hello? Oh, okay. I guess you're not hostile. Go without fear. You were free. And know that we are sorry for what happened to you. You must believe that not all of you blow or alone. She is an on armor now. Okay. I, I think that minus one we lost with the natives is coming back. Actually, is that... No, that's not in the same region, so we're just gonna fast travel. All right, don't cuss my friend. Let's work this out once and for all. What brings you here on Omanawi? I was able to close the mine. The man who operated it was arrested and will be banished. Yes, those you freed told me. From now on, you are my Karantz, my friend. You knew how to renew my trust in your clan. Just as trees grow back after being cut. Thank you, Dunkus. I am honored. Will you give us the old man now? If you allow it, I would like to punish him myself. Enough blood has been spilled, and he will only call for more of it, since he loved the forest to the point of killing for it. He will be sentenced to heal it. Every day he will replant what your men will cut down. Every day until the end of his life. Does this punishment seem acceptable to you? If I explain to Sir de Cossillon that the man was sentenced to forced labor, I suppose he will approve. Thank you, Dunkus. It is a wise sentence. Is there anything else? Oh, plus four, wow. No, my I friend. Goodbye, Dunkus. Alright, what is that? What is this quest? Oh, go to the village indicated by Petrus. No, we actually are going to do uh Afra's next quest. So uh Where is there? Is there a camp nearby? Or something? Or you know what? We'll actually just fast travel back to the house, but we will do that when we return. So I thank so much, ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the Empire for joining me. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you did and you're on YouTube, like, comment, subscribe. On Twitch, drop me a follow if you haven't already. And I will be back in a moment. Mm -hmm.